and thank you so much for tuning back in. Today is a really, really important topic because we're talking about how I can be an OnlyFans model and be Christian. I know it's a very controversial topic, but I want to share my perspective because one thing I do believe in is I believe in everyone being able to share their personal story, their perspective, no matter if someone agrees with you or not, everyone has the right to share their story. So I personally um, have been Christian for about 20 years and I found my faith through a cosmetic business that was a Christian based company. And it was so awesome because I, of course, loved being able to uh, share my faith with these other women and my faith really became a progression of being able to learn about Jesus and being able to learn about his love and also grace and forgiveness. Along the way, I also got married. So it was interesting because my husband at the time uh, was not a believer and that usually doesn't go well. At least in my experience, it did not go well. <laughs> he was not a believer. I was a believer. So right away, there's a little bit of uh, disconnection there. But not only did our faith not collide, we also, or combine, we also had other issues. And uh, we were not able to come into alignment with a lot of things that were important, um, including some of our values, also including uh, parenting styles, and just in general, how I believed um, I should be treated. And so I ended up asking for a divorce and getting a divorce. And it's now about been five years since I went through this divorce. Well, while I was married, not only did we have issues emotionally uh, and mentally between both of us, but we also had issues sexually. So our relationship had become asexual, which means basically we didn't have sex. And this lasted for about seven years. When I got pregnant with my twins, we ended up not having sex again <laughs> for seven years. And actually that probably was the last time we had sex is when I got pregnant with my twins. And I'm not really sure what, ch what changed or happened in his mind um, that made it unattractive for him to uh, have sex with me. But the truth of the matter was, is that this lasted for long enough that I got very disconnected from my sexuality and from my body. And so I stopped really even thinking of myself as a sexual person. I got very, very busy in throwing my, my life into, or throwing myself and my energy into my kids and into my business. And I just didn't think about the fact that I was a sexual person. So, after I asked for my divorce, I really started to reconnect with this part of myself that I had disconnected for years. And I started to pray about my sexuality and I started to pray that God would open up my heart, open up my body and rediscover and celebrate the sexuality that we all naturally have. And so through that, I was guided to do some photo shoots. And I did some photo shoots and they were really great and I had so much fun. And one of my friends was launching her photography business. So I did a boudoir shoot with her and the photos were amazing. And I came back from that photo shoot with those photos and all of a sudden, I felt attractive again. I felt pretty again. I felt sexy again after, you know, 18 years of being in this relationship that I did not feel attractive in um, anymore. I was able to start to transform that with a photo shoot. And so I continued on this path of transformation. 
as I continued to do photo shoots, I continued to open up more to this part of myself. And all of a sudden, I started to get viral attention on social media, on Facebook, on um, Instagram. And I was at a time in my life that I needed money. So I was a single mom at the time and I was at a point emotionally that my other business was not thriving as it once did. And I remember having $20 in my bank account and a hundred thousand dollars of the debt and thinking I have got to do something. I have got to do something because, uh, now I'm really the only person that my kids are relying on. So I do believe that I was guided by God to start an OnlyFans account because at this time I did not know OnlyFans was going to be so big. It did become, of course, a big phenomenon. If you know now, um, at the time it was not that big because this was now two years ago. And so I decided to start an OnlyFans account because I wanted to start monetizing some of these pictures that I was taking. And as I started the OnlyFans account, the money just started rolling in and I became very successful. Um, within the first six months, I was able to go from making $2,000 a month up to making $60,000 a month. And when COVID hit in March of 2020, I had an established OnlyFans account. And at that time, my account went from 60,000 to 120,000 a month and then just continued. And my first full year on OnlyFans, I made over a million dollars. Um, and so during that year, what's so amazing is I believe God knew that COVID was going to happen. And I believe that I was placed in the perfect time, in the perfect place to be able to take advantage of the OnlyFans wave. And now OnlyFans has over 2 million creators and they have over 5 million subscribers. I think there's more than that. There's got to be more than 5 million subscribers. With 2 million creators, I know there's more than 5 million subscribers, but there's a lot of subscribers on OnlyFans. I'm so thankful that I'm able to maintain one of the top OnlyFans accounts online. So um, I personally am in the top 100 OnlyFans accounts amongst all the OnlyFans accounts in the world. And OnlyFans is now not only in America, but it's also in other countries. And so what's so exciting is that I was able to achieve just the amazing success through OnlyFans. But not only that, I was able to pay off all my debt and I was able to put money into savings for my daughter's colleges. And I was able to put money down for property that my husband and I want to turn into an animal sanctuary as well as turn into a retreat place for women. The funny thing is, is that through my modeling, I also met my now husband. So usually I don't date fans <laughs> because sometimes they always have a certain way that they're wanting something from me. But in this situation, um, my husband was the nicest person ever on social media. He was always commenting nicely. He was always saying, you know, how beautiful I was in a very respectful way. And there was one thing that set him apart from anybody else. And that was that he was willing to help me and willing to give to me without expecting anything in return. And this was very different for me because a lot of times I was used to or have been used to men helping me only to get something sexual in return. 
And I understand that I project myself that way on social media and on OnlyFans, but this particular man chose not to want something from me. He chose to just be an amazing gift to me that he was willing to give to me without expecting anything in return. And that was a huge turn on for me. The fact that he was willing to give to me without expecting anything in return. And so I would not have met him if it wasn't for my modeling business because he saw a picture of me on social media and kind of started following me as one of my favorite fans. Um, so I could go on and on about my love story. Maybe that will be my next YouTube channel, YouTube show. Um, but I wanted to share with you why I believed I was called to be an OnlyFans model. And I know that there's lots of opinions about people who, or there's lots of opinions from people that think I can't be Christian while living a sinful life. But what I will say is that every single day, I believe we all try to be the best that we possibly can be within the circumstances that we're in. And when we have faith, God can transform anything, no matter what is happening in your life. He can transform anything for his good and for his glory. So no matter what you're doing, we are all broken. We are all fallen. We are all sinners in the eyes of God. And so how we choose to live our life is one of those things that we always have to ask ourselves. Do I feel as if I'm doing what God wants me to do at this time? Because it's not going to look the same for you as it's going to look for me. And God can work through everyone in any situation, in any career, in any location, in any country, in any language. He can work through everyone for his glory. And so I love having my fans. I love having the people that follow me. I love making the men feel special who follow me um, because there's a lot of people out there that don't have someone that makes them feel special, that makes them feel included, that makes them feel loved. And so I have over 100,000 people on my OnlyFans that I make sure they feel valued. And I make sure that they feel as if there's somebody else out there that cares for them. I also have models that I help to build their own successful OnlyFans business. I have friends and I have model friends that have been shunned from their churches. They've been shunned from their communities. They've been shunned from communities that would give them support because of what they do. And so I want to be a guiding light for those people that don't have anyone else. And I have chosen to do it through OnlyFans. So thank you so much for listening to my story. I hope it inspires you a little bit. And it is why I believe I can be Christian and an OnlyFans model. Talk to you soon.